Using and being comfortable operating a tripod is essential to work in the broadcast industry. Each student must take the time to learn these essential skills. Whether you're a man or a woman, want to work in radio or TV, this is a must learn. Today we will be showing you how to correctly set up, use, and tear down a video camera tripod. A tripod is what we use for steady video shooting. There are various parts on a tripod that we need to know in order to set it up and use it correctly. The first thing you need to do is extend the legs. The easiest way to spread the legs is to hold the tripod horizontal and not vertical. If you keep the tripod vertical, the legs could drop out and damage them and damage the unit itself. While holding the tripod horizontally, we are going to loosen up the clamp lever or knob near the feet of the tripod and slowly extend the legs out. Then we tighten up the lever or the knob. The reason we start with the bottom lever or knob is that most tripods have three leg sections and if you need to raise the tripod, it's easier to make that adjustment on the top lever or knob rather than bending over. Once you've got the bottom set of legs extended out, you want to pull the legs apart as wide as possible, then set the tripod on the ground, being mindful to get any feet placed flat. One of the school's tripods has spreaders. The spreader is used to help hold the tripod legs in place and give the unit more stability. If you're using a tripod with a spreader, once the legs are set up and extended out, make sure the knobs on the spreader are all loose. Extend the three parts of the spreader so you have the widest base possible. If you have a tripod set up and the legs are too close, a small breeze could blow it over. Now that we've got the legs extended out, you may need to raise the camera for a shot. To do this, you need to loosen up the top clamps, slide the legs out, and then tighten them into place at the height you need to shoot. On the top is the most important part of a tripod. It's called the head. This is where we mount the camera. On the back of the head, we have our panhandle. It's always positioned at the back of the tripod. You want to loosen the knob and move it to a comfortable position that fits your shooting style. Not everybody does it the same way. If you're performing a pan or a tilt, you will want it adjusted so you have control of the movement of the camera. Once we have our legs at the height that we want them, we need to make sure that the head of the tripod is level. The Sockler head allows us to do that easily. It is a ball and socket setup, and underneath you have a knob that you loosen up. On the back side of the head, there is a bubble level where you see your adjustments so that the bubble goes directly in the center of the circle. Doing so will let you have a level camera no matter how unlevel the terrain is. You always do this to make sure that your shots aren't crooked. Before we place the camera on the tripod, we want to make sure that the tilt lock is engaged. You want to make sure this lock is tightened finger tight so that when we put the camera on the head, it doesn't tilt forward or back. It's time to attach the camera to the tripod head. On the bottom of every camera you check out is a plate that is screwed into the camera. This is called the camera plate. Before you attach the camera to the tripod, make sure that the camera plate is nice and tight. Use a quarter to tighten if needed. You'll slide the plate into the head rails until you hear a click. Before you attempt this, you need to release the locking mechanism knob near the top of the head. After loosening the lock, you want to slide the camera plate in the rails. When the camera plate has slid in about three inches or so, you'll hear a click. Make sure the camera is centered on the top of the tripod. Once it's there, tighten down the lock mechanism knob finger tight. Nudge the camera a little bit to make sure it's not moving back and forth. Now you're ready to set up the camera. Let's discuss some of the other controls on the Sockler head. Underneath the head is a silver ring. This controls the tension of your pan. Sometimes when you're in the field, you are going to perform a pan shot, moving the camera from side to side horizontally. 
If this ring is set too loose, the head will spin easily and you may find it's harder to control the speed of a pan shaft. One way to avoid this is to add some tension. We do that by adjusting the ring to a larger number. Zero has the least amount of resistance and three has the greatest. The amount of resistance you use is based on your preference. Try it all and set it accordingly. When we put the camera on the tripod, we made sure we tighten the tilt lock, which begs the question, what is a tilt? Tilting or tilt is the up and down movement of the camera on a tripod. When you're performing a tilt, you want to loosen the lock and you can now tilt the camera down or up. That's in contrast to the pan. Just like the horizontal silver ring controls the tension or drag of the pan, there is a vertical silver ring that controls the tension of the tilt. Similar to the pan controls, the tilt controls create more tension when the ring is spun to a larger number. If this ring is set too loose, the head will tilt quickly and you may find it's harder to control the speed of the tilt. Always make sure you engage the pan and tilt lock when you are not shooting. If the camera accidentally tilts up and points at the sun, it can permanently damage the sensor and ruin the camera. In addition to the pan and tilt controls on the Sockler head, there is a control called the counterbalance. If you perform that tilt move and you let go of the pan handle with the counterbalance on, it will bring your camera into level position. Taking the counterbalance off, you can keep it anywhere that you want. To remove the camera from the tripod, you are going to do everything you did attaching it in reverse. You want to hold on to the top of the camera, loosening up the lock. On this tripod, there is a red button on the side of the tripod's head. It's the camera release button. Press the button and slide the camera back out of the rails. Always remember the camera goes on and off the tripod from the rear or the side with the pan handle. Once you've removed the camera from the tripod, you'll need to get it back into the bag so that you can turn it into the IA's office. To do this, just reverse the order of the original setup. Loosen all the clamp levers or knobs, collapse the legs while holding the tripod horizontally, loosen and tuck the pan handle in, and then retighten all the knobs or levers. Don't forget to do this. It's safer for the next person using the tripod.